Greetings, fellow detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. Boiler combustion air using outside air. The boiler requires a certain amount of air for combustion, usually 12 to 15 parts of air for every part of gas. There are three ways to introduce this combustion air, indoor air, outside air, and mechanical. Openings in the wall are the most common way of providing combustion air and this will be the focus of this video. The International Fuel Gas Code has two options for openings in the outside wall. The first option is one opening. The opening must be within a foot of the ceiling, and the size of the opening must be one inch of free area for each 3000 BTUs. Suppose you have a boiler with a rated input of 460,000 BTUs and a 40 gallon water heater with a rated input of 40,000 BTUs. This would total 500,000 BTUs. To calculate the required opening, the code says you must divide the combined input for all fuel-fired equipment by 3000. So, we would need 166 inches of free area to meet the combustion air requirements for the room. What is free area? From the above example, we know we need approximately 166 inches of free area or a hole about 13 inches by 13 inches. We cannot just leave a hole in the wall, as critters and bugs can get in. If you install a screen over the hole, it can't be the type of screen used for a window. The International Fuel Gas Code requires openings and the screen must be no smaller than one quarter inch. The screen also provides a bit of a restriction for the combustion air. The free area for a screen is about 98%, so you lose 2% of the hole's capacity by installing the screen. This would still work as the 13 inches by 13 inches raw opening is 169 inches minus the 2% lost with the screen would equal 166 inches. It is rare only to use a screen as when it rains, the rain will go into the boiler room and land on stuff that does not like water. Most contractors will install louvers on the opening, which further restricts combustion airflow. A metal louver has an estimated free area of 75%, so that we would lose 25% of the opening. We would have to make the hole larger to compensate for the restrictions. A wooden louver has a free area of 50% or half. When shopping for louvers, Many manufacturers rate the free area using an AK factor. The AK stands for area factor, which is free area. The second option for combustion air openings allowed by the International Fuel Gas Code is two openings. One opening must be within a foot of the floor, and one within a foot of the ceiling. The calculations for this are one inch of free area for 4000 BTUs. Using the above example, each opening will require 500,000 BTUs divided by 4,000 equals 125 inches of free area. A drawback to using fixed combustion air openings is that the boiler room tends to get cold enough to freeze a pipe in the winter. To reduce the possibility of freezing, there are two common methods. One is to provide a heater that will prevent the air inside the boiler room from getting below freezing. The other is to use motorized damper actuators to open the dampers when there is a call for heat and close them when the boiler shuts off. If using the latter, the dampers have to have a way to verify they are open before allowing the boiler to start. The most common method is to use an end switch on the actuator, which will only enable the boiler to operate once the dampers are fully open. I hope this helps you understand combustion air openings better. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites, Brewing with Steam dot com has my monthly blog posts on steam systems for breweries and fire ice heat is my company website i have written 11 books on boilers and they are available on amazon in addition you can find some of my writings in these fine publications thanks for stopping by boiler room detective and i hope to see you on the next case